doing mending for friends keeps Florence Tetro busy. When people guess her age, they usually guess early 80s. In November, Tetro will turn 104. My goodness, I get more hugs than, the, than a little bit. And one of the men down here, every morning, he gives me a, a nice little hug, and, and they treat me royally. This one's loyal. Tetro met her husband at St. Brew. In 1939, they got married and had two sons during the Second World War. Tetro is one of more than 8,000 centenarians in last year's census. It's a category women dominate. If you look at all the provinces, Saskatchewan has the highest share of people who've made it to 100. Over the past 15 years, their numbers have been rising. I think it's climate. Our climate here in Saskatoon, in Saskatchewan. We haven't got hurricanes and we haven't got uh, floods and, and uh, the air is good. I think it's, it's, uh, it's our climate. She is an incredible lady. Karen Heisey collected the stories of more than 300 members of Saskatoon's Century Club. She credits prairie longevity to better medical care. Heisey says most of her club's members lived through hard times on farms. Like they can push through stuff in ways that we couldn't imagine or some of us in a generation where we're not um, as physically active as they were through the majority of their life. Tetro decided to try synchronized swimming once she retired. By 1990, she took up golf and won a provincial seniors title. At 103, her only regret is not being able to dance anymore. Her secret to a long life, leave the past behind. Losing your mother, your father, your husband, and, 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 uh, and your marriage, and what have you. All right, if you're going to dwell on that, it's going to, uh, you know, uh, make you sad. But I don't. Leave the past, go by, and live for the future. The gallows. Tetro says it's all about playing the hand you're dealt. And with more people living longer, she says more of us should follow suit. Jennifer Cannell, CBC News, Saskatoon.